Hello, everyone and fellow cleaning enthusiasts, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Renee, and I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. Alrighty then, where in the world do we kick this off? Time to embark on a trash treasure hunt. But while I'm looking through what I think is trash, I'm going to embark on a wild scavenger hunt for love and wheels, a marriage license, and a car title. I began the room transformation right in the middle, crafting a grand opening stage for my ninja-like navigation skills. So here's the backstory. This gentleman sought out assistance with his home office and gaming space. He operates from his home, but refrains from using his camera due to embarrassment about his office setup. So here's how I assisted the gentleman with the following steps. One was assessment. I started by assessing his current setup, identifying specific areas that need improvement, such as organization, lighting, or furniture. Step two was declutter. Help him declutter the space by identifying items that can be discarded, donated, or stored elsewhere. Reducing the clutter can make the space feel much more inviting. Step three is organization, and this might be effective storage solutions to keep his office and gaming equipment organized, shelving, file cabinets, or even cable management. Step four is lighting, because proper lighting can improve productivity and reduce eye strain. Step five is furniture. Does he have the necessary and correct ergonomically correct furniture that promotes comfort and efficiency during work hours? Does he have a comfortable chair for long gaming sessions? Step five is decorations. Does he have the decorations that reflect his personal style and create an inspiring work environment? Step seven is the technology setup to ensure that his technology is set up correctly and that he has cable management under control. And of course, step eight is to be supportive. Be patient and supportive throughout the entire process, as making changes to a workspace can be a significant undertaking. Also encourage him to embrace the improvements and regain confidence in his workspace. So all of these paper bags you've been eyeing are destined to become the heroes of the recycling realm, filled with the mightiest of paperwork. As he gains confidence in what is trash and recycle, he's like, that whole box, total trash, dude. Paper hero of the day, I found the car title. As you dive into your paper jungle, ponder these questions. One, is the legal document in its prime time? Two, is this address or label still in style? Three, does this ancient credit card bill still spark joy? Four, will I ever resurrect this receipt required relic? Five, has this bill done its disappearing act already? And six, can I summon this info from the depths of the web? Time to build the tech arc for electronic companions. Thank you. 
sorting through old electronics, like a time traveler deciding which relics to bring back to the future. Marketing flyers from the past half decade, are they historical artifacts or just paperweight material? Turning empty boxes into your loyal army of standing assistants because bending over is so last season. Unintentional box hoarding. Those empty boxes, they're like quiet roommates who multiply when you're not looking, turning your place into a cardboard castle. But fear not, for the quest for clutter-free nirvana, you must occasionally release those boxy prisoners back into the wild to find new homes to fulfill their destiny as packaging heroes.
Hooray! The marriage license emerges from the paper wilderness like a rare treasure map. More electronic relics. Time to turn this paper pandemonium into a symphony of organization, where even the stubbornness of documents will harmonize.
I'm so glad I could help this gentleman. Two truckloads of recycled paper, proof that even paper deserves a second chance at greatness. But hey, collecting boxes can be like stocking up on cardboard friends. Just remember to declutter now and then to keep your space as neat as cat's whiskers. The curtain caper continues. We're not just cleaning, we're giving those curtains a spa day they'll never forget. I walked 7,163 steps, walked 3.15 miles, and burned off 366 calories in one day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring stories. Until next time, take care.